This data shows the results of an investigation into whether the level of hydration of a boxer affects the number of punches that can be thrown during a simulated boxing bout. The response variable is the number of punches and these are recorded for six amateur boxers A to F at two levels of hydration. U hydration E which is the normal condition and dehydration D. We also code hydration using the variable hydrat N where we give it a numeric value of 1 for the normal U hydration and 2 for the state of dehydration. The investigation takes place with three rounds, one, two, three, in the first bout and three further rounds, four, five and six, in a second bout. We also wish to test for a possible interaction of the effects between hydration and round and hydration and bout. And for this we develop two new variables, HR for the interaction between hydration and round, by simply multiplying the numeric variable for hydration N by the round number. So 1 times 2 will give HR of 2. Similarly, we look for the interaction between hydration and bout, and we have this new variable HB by multiplying hydrat N by the bout number. We wish to develop a model in which we can express the number of punches thrown in relation to the level of hydration, the round and the bout numbers, and also the interactions between them. So we will go to stat, regression, regression, and we need to fit a regression model. The response variable is the number of punches and we wish to include the numerical variables of hydrat n, the round, the bout and the possible interactions between hydration and round and hydration and bout. We can just confirm the model hydrat round bout and the two interaction terms. We click OK and we will do a stepwise regression there are several methods that can be used, forward selection, backward elimination, stepwise. We will choose backward elimination. And we will also choose to include details for each step. So we can run the analysis. The results will appear in the session window. And we can see it has taken three steps in the backward elimination process. In the first step, it starts with all of the variables in the model and calculates p-values for the significance of each variable. And we can see that the largest p-value is for round. And in the next step, the round is dropped from the analysis. It is eliminated. And we can now see that the only non-significant p-value is the interaction between the hydration and the round with a p-value of 0.396. So in the next step, this is also dropped, giving a final model with the factors hydrat n, the bout, and the interaction between the hydration and bout. The coefficients given here are the coefficients in a linear model so that we could say that the number of punches would be given by 46.9 times the value of hydrat n plus 59.2 times the bout number minus 43.5 times the value of the variable h times b the interaction and then plus the constant 82.3. We could repeat this analysis and this time we could choose 
to use a forward selection method. And if we look at the results from that, we see that in step one, it selects the most significant variable, which is the interaction between the hydration and bout. In the next step, it includes the value of the bout itself. And in the third step, it then adds hydrate n as the next variable. So it ends up with the same three variables as the backward elimination method. And it also ends up with the same coefficients in the linear regression equation. So in this particular case, using the forward selection of terms or the backward elimination of terms arrives at the same linear model.